Good morning, y'all. What is up? Today is December 1st, 2021, and it is the first day of Vlogmas. Vlogmas is something I've always wanted to do and just never got around to it. So I'm going to be vlogging 25 days straight for the 25 days of Christmas. And for Vlogmas Day 1, I want to show you how to make your very own coffee advent calendar. I've seen coffee advent calendars every year and I've wanted to buy one for like the past two years. But then when you look at how much it costs per cup, the value is actually really not that great. So I want to show you today how I made my own for less than $20. The first thing you're going to need is a shirt box. This is going to be any standard gift box that you would find at like Kohl's or Macy's when you buy clothing as a gift. Your next step is going to be measuring your K-cup. You're going to measure the radius, not the diameter of the pod, because we're going to be using a compass to get a perfect circle. I'm not great with numbers, measurements, and math, but it seems to be about a 2 inch diameter and a 1 inch radius. Grab a pencil and draw a grid across your box that has 24 intersections. Now place your compass point at each intersection on the box. Put a pencil inside and rotate your compass all the way around until it's a 2 inch diameter. Now do this 24 times. Now the most annoying step of the whole project is going to be this one. You're now going to need to take an X-Acto knife or a blade and cut out each circle all the way around. You're going to pop the entire cardboard circle out. Once you have all your holes cut out, now it's time to test it. Just make sure that every pod goes in nicely and snug so that it snaps in. Once you've tested them all and they all work flawlessly, you're going to go onto Amazon and you're going to purchase 24 unique coffee pods. No duplicates, variety box entirely. I'll put the link in the description below as to the one that I purchased. It was about $19.90 on Amazon same day delivery. The box that I ordered came with 40 unique pods with no duplicates. So obviously this means I'm going to have some extra left over, not that I'm complaining. I would highly recommend having somebody you know sort through the pods and put them in there so that you don't know which day you're getting what coffee. So for me, my mom was a huge help. She went through and sorted all the pods and put the 24 that she thought I would like the most into the pod slots and she wrapped it all for me. So you're going to need to get some wrapping paper. I found this cute one at Target that has coffee, hot chocolate, and donuts on it so it seemed pretty fitting. But any wrapping paper will do and have the entire box wrapped. Now you can no longer see which pods are in each slot. You can go ahead and label each one with the numbers 1 through 24. My mom went above and beyond the Call of Duty and she actually made 24 labels with Christmas themes and numbers on them for me. You can always go ahead and just write them with a sharpie, a sticky note, or whatever you have. And here's the final product. This is what it looks like 1 through 24. And today is December 1st, so let's head downstairs to the coffee pot and open up day one. And for each day when I brew the cup of the day, I'm going to give it a rating of one out of five Christmas coffees. So let's try blueberry pie. Hundred percent smells like blueberry cake. Cheers. I'm gonna give blueberry pie three out of five Christmas coffees. It has a strong blueberry flavor. It's a little weaker than I like, but it does have a really sweet blueberry fruity flavor to it and it's not too weak to where it's like tea. So, three out of five. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow for Vlogmas day two. Cheers.